Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will learn how to delete or remove user data from MySQL table under this Laravel project on visitor management system. Here it will ask confirmation before deleting of data. In previous part, we have already seen how to update or edit user data under this Laravel visitor management system. Now we have learned how to delete user data. So for delete user data, first we will write javascript code For pop-up dialog box confirmation before deleting of data After this, we will create delete method in controller class For delete user data from mysql table in the laravel framework After this, we will set root for the controller method And lastly, we will check output in the browser Here on the web page, we can see that delete button we have already created at the time of loading of data, in Laravel Yajra data table, so now we have proceed for delete data. So we have go to, suburser.blade.php file, and here we have go to javascript code part. And here, we have to write, dollar with document selector, with on method, with three argument. In first argument, we have to write, click event, in second argument. We have to write button class delete, and in the third argument, we have to write callback function, so when we have click on delete button, then this block of code will execute. Under this function, we have to write it variable as equal to dollar with this selector, dot data method, and under this method, we have to write it. So it will fetch value of data id attribute, and store under this id local variable. So after get user id value, now we have to write if statement and condition. We have to write confirm statement with message like are you sure you want to remove it. So when we have click on delete button, then one dialog box will pop up in the browser with this message. With ok and cancel button. So when we have click on ok button, then this if block of code will execute. Under this block of code, we have to write window.location.href is equal to slash sub user slash delete slash with dynamic value of it variable so it will redirect to this url and it will delete user data from my sql table so here our javascript code is ready now we have go to sub user controller class And under this class, we have to write delete method with dollar it variable as argument. Under this method, we have to write dollar data variable is equal to user class with find a fail method with dollar it variable as argument. After this, here we have to write dollar data variable with delete method. So this method will delete user records from database and user data will be deleted from my SQL table. After deleting of data, we want to redirect web page to index method of sub user controller. So for this, here we have to write return statement with redirect method. And under this method, we have to write sub user so it will redirect web page to index method of the sub user controller class. Now for display, delete data success message, so for this, here we have to write with method with two argument, and here in first argument, we have to write variable name success, and in second argument, we have to write message like user data removed, so this message will be display on the web page after deleting of user data. And we have already write code for display success message, so here our delete user data code is ready. Now we want to set root root for this delete method, so for this we have go to web.php file. And here we have to write root class with get method with two argument. In the first argument, we have to write sub user slash delete slash id variable. And in second argument, we have to write sub user controller class and delete method. After this, we have to write, name method with delete, so it will set root for delete method. 
So here our code is ready. Now we have to check out put in the browser. Friends, here first we have to refresh web page and after refresh of web page. Here we can see user data has been load in jQuery data table with edit and delete button. Now we have to click on the delete button and after click on the delete button. Here we can see that dialog box has been pop up in the browser with OK and cancel button. So here it has asked confirmation before deleting of data. So here first we have to click on cancel button. So after click on cancel button. No any action has been performed. So now we have again click on delete button. And again dialog box has been pop up in the browser with OK and cancel button. Now we have to click on OK button and after click on OK button. Here we can see that sub user data has been deleted from my SQL table and here we can see success message on the web page. So in this part we have learned how to delete or remove data from my SQL table with confirmation. Under this Laravel visitor management system and in next part we will start making department management module under this Laravel visitor management system. So we will be meet in next part. Thank you for watching this tutorial.